Okay, so before this video starts, I wanted to uh, kind of explain the editing style of this video. It's not normal and I don't know if I'll do it again. Um, so I recorded this video a long time ago, like probably a year ago now. This was before I was doing TikTok all the time and finally got comfortable like talking on camera. Uh, so this video is gonna be more reactionary. Recording this on my phone, uh, it's just propped up on my laptop and I'm literally watching it like right there. In the original video, I am talking in this part and I'm saying that it's a pretty common modification for us car guys whenever we're younger to use VHT nightshade on our lights. And then after a couple months or even a couple weeks, we decide we don't like it anymore and we want to remove it. As you can see in this example, the, the nightshade has been on there for years and it's just caked on. It's super thick. So this was like a perfect example to try and use a couple of different products to uh, remove the nightshade cheaply. To pick these products, I did some Google searching just to try and find different life hacks or different uh, myths about how to remove nightshade. You know, just stuff you see on old forums and stuff. And these are the four products that came up was Goof Off, uh, Break Clean, Isopropyl Alcohol, Goo Gone, the main consensus of all of them was to spray it on and just let it sit. So that's why I split it up into the four different sections and then sprayed some on and poured some on into those different sections and then let it sit for five minutes. You can see by the timer. What kind of surprised me is that after the five minutes, not much of it was really melted or, or coming up just from the spray and just from the liquid sitting on it. I definitely thought that a lot more would just be like dripping off and pouring off from those specific products. Those are some pretty harsh chemicals. Now this is the initial wipe to try and see if it would come off easy or if you really had to put some elbow grease into it. None of them came off easy. You had to really work at all of them just to get it to come off. Goof off didn't do too bad. Break clean did okay. Uh, if you, it actually did better than goof off. But if you notice, there was a mixture of black liquid coming down and white liquid coming down. The white liquid is actually the clear coat coming off. Uh, I didn't pay close enough attention to that. Uh, and you'll see later on that actually ruins the light. Isopropyl alcohol, uh, didn't really do anything. Some came off, but after a few minutes of scrubbing it, it really didn't want to come off. Yeah, the Goo Gone really didn't do much either. It, uh looks a little shinier, but that was, that was it. Really didn't do anything. It was really cool being able to peel the tape and see the difference. It, mainly in the first two, the last two didn't do much, but you can definitely tell that the lens is a lot more clear than before. So it does kind of work. Now, out of the two that worked, the one that worked the fastest was brake cleaner. So I wanted to see how fast I could clean the rest of it. And that's what this is. Now, this is where things go bad. Um, the brake clean eats away at the clear coat and starts to eat into the plastic. So if you look at the very top of that lens, right above the projector, it's turning this weird shade of white that's because it ate into the plastic and uh, won't clear out. Of course, the proper way to clear any headlight like this that has VHT on it, especially one that's caked on like this that bad, is to sand it all the way back, knock out the clear coat, re-clear it with some proper automotive clear coat. Uh, but this was just an experiment to see if you could do it cheap, um, with just some stuff that you can pick up at a local store. And honestly, it's not recommended. <laughs> it destroyed the light more than it helped. Uh, 
I don't have another side of this light. This is the only one that I had that, that was like that. I just, someone gave it to me that was getting a new set. I did it for this one experiment. I wish I could have done uh, goof off to see how it would have done. But unfortunately, I don't have the uh, other side to try it out. Thank you for watching. Moral of the story, just don't use VHD.